No matter where we are in the world, we're feeling it. The climate crisis is changing our world and our lives. It's getting hotter, colder, wetter, drier, and it's getting more extreme. And these extremes aren't just felt on land. They're happening right across our blue planet, with massive changes occurring in our ocean, from the poles to the tropics. Covering 70% of the Earth's surface, the ocean absorbs 90% of the heat generated by greenhouse gas emissions. It has long masked and protected us from even more extreme effects of climate change. But our ocean can only take so much heat, and the Big Blue could be in big trouble if we don't stop burning fossil fuels. To understand this, let's dive deep to see how we can protect the ocean, the life in it, and ourselves. Marine heat waves have shattered records as the climate crisis accelerates. 2023 was the planet's hottest year on record. Global average sea surface temperatures reach all-time highs. Such extremes can be devastating for both people and nature. Here is why. Hotter water holds less oxygen, and some fish don't survive because they simply can't breathe in the heat. To some extent, fish like tuna can move to cooler waters, but any unexpected migration has a huge effect on coastal communities as well as global seafood supply chains. This is just one way people face the consequences of marine heat waves. Another occurs due to the expansion of seawater as it warms. This increases sea level rise and drives more powerful storms that are felt directly by coastal ecosystems and communities. A warming ocean also affects coral reefs, along with the 850 million people who depend on them for food security, livelihoods, and the nature-based solutions they provide, like buffering coastal communities from storms and cyclones. But unlike migratory species, corals stay put, making them uniquely vulnerable. Covered by increasingly hot water, they get very stressed and expel the beneficial algae that live with them. Without them, corals lose their healthy, bright colors and turn bone white, a phenomenon known as coral bleaching. Further exposure to high temperatures or just one big storm could be all it takes to wipe out the coral for good. With the coral populations gone, the fish that many coastal communities depend on move away or don't survive. No coral, no fish, no fisheries, and for many, no primary source of protein the impacts are global. With about one quarter of marine species spending a chunk of their lives around coral reefs, their loss poses a major threat to the health of the ocean and to us. So, what can we do to avoid this catastrophe? The coral crisis is a climate crisis, and the fastest way to dial down marine heat waves is to stop burning fossil fuels like oil, gas, and coal. We must meet the Paris Agreement global goal to limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. For our ocean, every fraction of a degree of warming matters, and we must adapt to changes that are now unavoidable. In the case of coral, this means identifying reefs that are less exposed to climate change, and working with communities to protect them from threats such as poor water quality unsustainable coastal development and overfishing. The WWF-led Coral Reef Rescue Initiative is doing just that. Together with partners, we've mapped reefs in seven countries that may be more resilient to a warming ocean. They are connected by currents to other reef systems and may be able to seed and regenerate reefs that have been damaged by climate change. In partnership with governments, other organizations, researchers, and coastal communities, the initiative is working to reduce the strain placed on these special places and help ensure coastal communities have the tools and resources to manage their sustainability. As individuals, we too have a role to play. We must raise awareness of the threats faced by our warming ocean 
continue to speak up about fossil fuels and the climate crisis and do what we can in our daily lives to lower our carbon footprints. If we work together, we can truly make waves for people, for our ocean, for our planet, for our future. Are you with us?